Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a random tip flash hint GUI. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go under the View tab and open up the Explorer and Properties. So after that, scroll down until you find the Start GUI. Click the plus, enter in a Screen GUI, and under the Screen GUI, click the plus and enter in a Text Label. So this is going to be our tip slash hint GUI, so you can put it on the top, bottom, middle, wherever your tip slash hint GUI is going to be in your game. So I'm going to put mine at the top, and then I'm just going to make it um, long, and then something like that. So what you want to do now is you want to customize your tip slash hint GUI. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the background color to a nice cyan color. Uh, and I'm going to go to the text. I'm going to make sure that the text is scaled. And I'll probably make it bold. And um, yeah, I'll probably just leave it as bold. And I'll also probably just um, add in some UI corner to the text label. So once you are done with your text label, what you want to do is click on your text label. Click the plus and enter in a local script. So you can write what I write. The script will be down in the description below. Uh, but you can watch uh, this segment to find out how it works. So first of all, we're going to start off with the variables. So local text label equals to script.parent. And then we're going to go down a line. And then we're going to write local tips equals to. And then we're going to create a new table. So this table is going to have all of our tips slash hints that you want to add. So whenever you add a new tip, you just want to put in quotation marks, write out your tip. So for example, make sure you subscribe. So you want to write out the tip and then outside the quotation marks, you just want to put a comma and then um, that is a tip. So if you want to add more, all you have to do is go down the line and then repeat the exact same thing. So I'm just going to make a few tips quickly right here. So here I've written out uh, a few tips slash hints that, um, you know, that are going to go onto our text label. So it doesn't really matter how long it is because every time it will just choose a random one from the list that you make. So just make sure that after every single tip or hint that you have a comma after it and also make sure that they're all inside uh, these quotation marks. So after you have your tip slash hints created, we can go down two lines and then we're going to make a loop. So while and then we're going to write task dot wait and then the number you're going to put inside the brackets is how many seconds you want uh, before it cycles through every single tip. So I'm going to put in 10 seconds, which means every 10 seconds it's going to choose a new tip to display. So while task dot wait 10 and then do. And we're going to go down a line and then we're going to write text label dot text equals to and then we're going to write tips and then square brackets and then math dot random and inside the regular brackets write one comma and hashtag tips. So what this means is um, every 10 seconds. Uh, and we're going to set the text of the text label to uh, a random tip from this list over here. So the last thing we need to do is, is start off um, the text label with a tip already in it. So I'm just going to go into the text and I'm just going to write uh, welcome to my game. Just like that. So let's go test it out. So here I am inside the game. So this is our tip slash hint uh, GUI. So every 10 seconds, it should switch to a new tip. So it chose never going to run a round, which is uh, this tip right here. And then every 10 seconds, okay, and this time it's never going to give you up. So basically every 10 seconds, it just chooses a brand new tip to display. So let's see what the next one is. It's going to be, did you know that? And then insert fun fact here. So something else you could do to make it a little bit better is after text label dot text, you can add in quotation marks and then you can write in tip and then put in a colon, put in a space and after the quotation mark, write two dots. 
So what this will do is it will add um, the string tip with a space in front of the tip. So it looks something like this. So it will say tip and then it will put in the tip. So tip, I love cheeseburgers. And then it's just going to keep on cycling it through. So like, did you know? Insert fun fact here. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys. Oh yeah, just like that. You see that tip? Yeah, make sure you subscribe. Oh yeah, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!